Uh, President elect Trump uh, rang in the new year, obviously, at Mar a Lago in, Fl in Florida, he gave a speech to guests celebrating who were there. I want to play something from, the, from that speech. Hussein and the whole family from the, the most beautiful people from Dubai are here tonight and they're seeing it and they love it. That was apparently a reference to Hussein uh, Sejuani, his billionaire business partner in Dubai. Can you, can you confirm that that's who he was speaking about? Because that, if it is, it's raised questions about, uh, you know, he's obviously turning his businesses over to his adult sons um, because he felt it was visually important as president to in no way have a conflict of interest. Some people would raise questions as, is celebrating New Year's Eve with a business partner from Dubai three weeks before the inauguration separating himself? I find that to be so completely ridiculous and specious. This man is allowed to have a New Year's Eve celebration with his friends and his business partners or his acquaintances. I've spent a lot of time at Mar-a-Lago over this break, and including I had dinner with the Husseins one night there, just uh, well, Hussein and his wife, absolutely lovely people. I mean, the idea that he's giving a speech recognizing a friend and his beautiful wife, um, and people are just going to twist that around to somehow it's a business favor. I mean, we, we've got to get a hold of ourselves here that, that this man can't be at a social event. Um, if you took that example to its extreme, <laughs> nobody would be able to be friends with anybody else. And so I saw you on New Year's Eve having a great time with Kathy Griffin. I find much of that to be very entertaining. Uh, and I'll leave it at that. In other words, nobody is saying, but do you endorse the maker of the shirt she had on? Do you? It's just, let's not take things to the, to the extreme. I think Donald Trump said it best in the on-the-record interview with the New York Times, November 21st or 22nd, uh, Anderson, when he said that, um, you know, if it were up to some people, he would never talk to his children again. Mm. It's not going to happen. One can disentangle their business interests from the fact that he's going to be 100% committed to his job as president of these great United States and, and yet still have a relationship with his children.